Good morning and welcome to another video. Great to see you here. We are parked here just beside E39 with our motorhome. We are driving up from Bergen uh, on our way to Trondheim. But the plan is to follow the coast. But today being a Monday, so we are sort of uh, working a little bit. But right now we sort of uh, got a cunning idea. Because we are just about to hit lunch now. And uh, Gru is feeling a bit restless and I'm also feeling a bit restless. So I think the plan is I'm going to take the camera. And Gru has sort of uh, said that she is um, trying to work while we are driving uh, on the Vestlana. Yeah. So you have put your office up here now. And you have a seat belt behind you. Yep, I'm ready. Well, uh, we see how this goes. Uh, I will show you on a map also uh, where we're going. All right, I'm uh, gonna flip my chair around here now and uh, we're getting ready to go. This is the best part about having a motorhome. This is sort of all the preparedness you need to do. Get the water bottle out of the way. And now in theory, ish, you're ready to go. Just some little things that we need to put away, but uh, nothing that we will show you on camera. So we are about here. It's a little parking place just uh, aside the road, E39. The road it goes just down there. And the plan is to drive to Förde and then follow up the road all the way up here to Svalgen and under here here is an under the seas tunnel oops that goes out to map please behave that goes out to Kvalvog here And there we're going to sp spend the night and we're going to visit the art gallery and the beach. Well, so here we are, Kvalvog, or Kvalvog camping. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. You know, Gro? No, I don't know. By the way, how did it go with uh, driving and working and things? Yeah, for the most part it was okay. It was a few tunnels that didn't really work. <laughs> so you lost the connection a couple of times? Yeah. Well, it's not something we will make a habit of doing, I guess. But we're here now, so uh, 
let's um, plug in the shore power and uh, get some water in the tanks and uh, some lunch maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So we stopped here at Kalborg uh, campsite. The old location is beautiful uh, by the sea where you can uh, have an overlook over the main shipping lane uh, up and down the coast of Norway. We don't want to give this campsite a too high score. First of all, this tank share is where you're emptying your black water. And believe you me, when you're emptying up these tanks, the smell is horrific. And the prices of 300 kronos a night is a little bit on the steep side, if you ask me. But otherwise, the toilet facility was, uh, well, just okay. Clean enough, and you have uh, one toilet. Uh, and you have uh, a toilet and a shower and inside uh, the room with the toilet and a shower you also have uh, a little sink area I'm not sure if that is meant for doing your dishes or cleaning fish or what uh, the meaning is here but uh, well it's there so uh, I think we need to rate this uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 as we usually do it gets uh, just a tree, and the reason for that is the location uh, with the view over the shipping lane. Otherwise, too high price, empty of the black water makes you, well, you want to throw up. The smell is that bad. So, this is not a place we can recommend. Sorry. But now, let's take you into uh, Karlvog. Uh, I want to say downtown Karlvog, but that's a little bit of an overstatement. The reason that we are here is we wanted to check out a new art gallery. There is a local artist called Odvars Tosheim. Now I guess as all artists go, he's a little bit on the eccentric side. But uh, both me and Guru sort of have a little, uh, as we say in Norwegian, we have sons for hon. Now I won't um, go out and adapt here and try to describe an artist. Though he, his drawing does remind me of a friend of mine's uh, sort of style of drawing. Uh, don't you agree, Stola? Well, I may, guess that makes you jump in the chair, Stola, huh? <laughs> well, anyway, have a look at some of his uh, pictures. So it's a couple of days later now, and we have a move location. Uh, we didn't want to stay at that um, Carlwood camping for uh, any longer than we have to. So that was just one day. So now we have come to a place called uh, Bremanger Camping. You can see outside here. Uh, also, we uh, visit um, Grotlestrand uh, while we were in the area. It's a beautiful beach. Uh, as you will see from these clips here. Otherwise, uh, we are just uh, working, you know, who is doing her crochet, uh, working uh, on her computer. Are you making a Snoopy go? Yeah. Have you decided that he's going to have his leg down or up or one up or run down like he's marching? I'm not sure. We'll see. We will get the answer in this video, you think? Hopefully it will be done by tonight, yes. Because uh, tomorrow we are going to Trondheim. So, um, well, stay tuned, folks. Let's see how Snoopy gets its legs. And now, oh, yeah, by the way, we forgot to give you our ratings of the campsite here at Bramango. Now, this one is getting a high rating. It's going to be an 8. The plus side are uh, nice and clean. Everything works. The price is not so bad. 280 kroners uh, for night including electricity and shower and emptying of blacks and grey water. 
And they also have a washing machine and a dryer here. It costs 50 kroners each. And this being a camping, you can come here with your tent, you can come here with your caravan, you have possibility to do your dishes. Yeah, you can even come here with a boat. Well, so here we are on the ferry. Next day, of course. Um, we got an earlier start than we were originally planning for. Um, so we took uh, the one ferry earlier. Uh, that's about two hours before we were planned to do it. And Gru is still being a bit ambitious about her um, working uh, on the go. I guess when you first uh, have a taste of efficiency, it's hard to let it go. It's not easy to have an office on this road because the roads are really going like this, you know, on the western part of Norway. It's, it's not a road that is straight here. But enough babbling, let's show you the views from um, the ferry. Second ferry of the day, you can see it coming just uh, over here. And it leaves in uh, 10 minutes ish at 2 o'clock. How's your day been so far, Go? Yeah, it's been good. Getting stuff done? Oh, yes. <laughs> Alright, the journey continues towards Trondheim. By the way, along with just thinking of it, uh, Snoopy is with us, is sitting over there. It turned out it was gonna be a sitting Snoopy. Perfectly, so that we hit just in the middle of Molde Rush Hour. when you just 
drive straight aboard the ferries like we just did now. But this is the last ferry for today, it's the fourth ferry and it is uh, not that long, just uh, look at this. It's just this long. Good morning. It's the next day. We arrived here a couple of days ago. Uh, been a lazy day. So, and we also met up with our friends. It's uh, Par and Linda from uh, Res Linda. And you guys do full times in your motorhome. Yeah, we've lived in our motorhome since uh, May last year. And so. every year you sort of uh, switch between uh, the Iberian Peninsula and uh, Finnmark in Norway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So far, <laughs> we've done that. Yes. So it's safe to say, this guy have been uh, many places, and if you want to see, uh, well, yeah, many places, you can go and check out their channel. But your channel is in, is in Swedish, but you do subtitles, all right? Yeah, it's in Swedish, but we subtitle most films in Swedish and English. Och för att kunna norska följa så ja, då kan kan med svensk. Sorry about that last part. It was in Scandinavian working language. <laughs> so we have parked the motor home here. We have just made ourselves a little uh, camp. We are at Frosta. And we are about to take the bike out for a little trip. But if I not remember wrong, if I remember correctly, this video has definitely gone on long enough. So, just leave me to say, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. And yes, last but not least, we need to rent this campsite that we are at here. It's a motorhome parking. And wait for it, folks. This one gets a top score. 10 out of 10. Look at this beautiful location and the price is 250 kroners including electricity and a shower and a toilet and emptying facilities. To this owner of this motorhome parking, I salute you. And again, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.